in this video we will find the derivative of sin x raised to the power x so in order to differentiate this function we will apply natural log on both sides of the equation so we have ln of y is equal to ln of sin of x raised to the power x and then we can apply the property of ln of a to the power n is equal to n times ln of a so here we can see that the power of sin x is x and this x will become the coefficient of ln so we have ln of y is equal to x times ln of sin of x now then we will apply the derivative on both sides of the equation so we have d by dx of ln y is equal to d by dx of x times ln of sin x now here we can apply the rule of product so the product rule of the derivative is d by dx of u v is equal to u times derivative of v plus v times derivative of u and in order to differentiate ln y with respect to x we will apply chain rule because we cannot differentiate ln y with respect to x so we will write d by dy of ln y so that we can differentiate ln y and then multiply it by dy by dx and here we will apply the product rule so we can see that in place of u we have x and in place of b we have ln sin x so we will put the values of u and b in this formula so first we will write x then derivative of ln of sin x plus ln of sin x times d by dx of x now the derivative of ln y is 1 upon y times dy by dx is equal to x times the derivative of ln of something is 1 upon something so we will write this sin x in the denominator and then on the top of the fraction we will write the derivative of sin x which is cos x plus ln of sin x and the derivative of x is 1 now we have 1 upon y dy by dx is equal to x times uh, we know that cos x upon sin x is cot x and ln of sin x multiplied by 1 is again ln of sin x and now we will take this y on the other side of equation so we have dy by dx is equal to y times x cot x plus ln of sin x and now we will put the value of y which is sin x raised to the power x and then x cot x plus ln of sin x so this is the required derivative 